Sup, my friends, and welcome back to the Dragon's Lair. This is the Dallas Dragon, but you can call me Toasty. And yeah, I know this video is a little late, but I was just thinking today about talking about New Year's resolutions and all that jazz. No new hat in time today, big surprise, but I already said I might not be able to do it. Part of what the holdup with that is is I'm waiting for my dad to help me clean up the studio downstairs so I can record there. Yeah, I just wanted to talk about New Year's resolutions because it occurs to me I sort of made one this year. And I don't normally make New Year's resolutions because, I don't know, it's just weird to me to have to make this resolution to do something that you would actually wants to do or like to do or whatever to me i don't want to say it i just want to do it for instance i need to work out more i need to start getting into shape and stuff but that's not something that i would make a new year's resolution for that's just something that i would do i feel that i'm just making a excuse or something to doing the whole new year's resolution like this year i want to blah 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 or blah 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 and ultimately for the most part, it falls through. And I know some people who do, you know, follow through their New Year's resolutions. Most people don't. So I guess that's really why I don't care about New Year's resolutions, because I don't want to waste time saying words or making a promise that ultimately I'm not even going to keep. But, I mean, they're kind of nice, and I'm not going to take that away from people. And I sort of did make this one, one this year, I want to be more interactive with you guys, and it, I'm reminded back to when Markiplier first started, he would have these logs, he wouldn't know what to really talk about, <laughs> and he would just talk about his channel, and I totally get that, because, like, the channel is everything to you, and admittedly right now I'm going through a lot in my life, and YouTube isn't really the forefront like it was a year ago i still love youtube and i still want to do youtube i don't know just to be honest and to level with you guys i wouldn't be as held up if youtube didn't go anywhere and it's not about trying to make this actually go somewhere because i'm not even sure if i have what it takes to actually do youtube I'm probably just being a little too hard on myself because I've been just kind of wrapped up in my own head and things, so YouTube has kind of fallen off for me. I mean, for one, I always wanted to try to do two videos a day, and I've kind of just slipped into doing one video a day. And I feel like if I was to put in more effort or something that I could actually do more than I am, and that might be true. I don't know, I I'm still growing up. I'm still learning about myself and I'm still going through some things. And there is some things from my past that I haven't properly dealt with that I'm trying to properly deal with. I can't take away time from doing that stuff. But I have to be honest with myself with where I really want to be putting my energy because I have a tendency to want to do everything and spread my energy too far and nothing gets done. I don't want to stop doing YouTube. I love all you guys. And I would love for YouTube to develop into something because then I'd have something to put my energy towards and I would be able to better explain to everything in my world, like all the people in it, why it's okay for me to put as much energy as I am into it. And it would just give me a path in life. And it's not that I don't have a path or didn't have a path, but I kind of don't. And it's because I really don't like planning my life in the same way that the culture around me wants me to. I don't know. I don't want to try to fit in. In some level, I do, and I feel bad that I don't like just see the world or interpret the world in the same way that everybody's telling me to do. And it's not that the way of life 
is wrong or bad. It's just not me. And I don't care what the fuck I'm doing. I just, I want to do stuff. <laughs> I know it's vague because that's pretty much all it really is to me. This is life. And I only have one shot at life. And I'm just going to not worry about the freaking logistics and just do stuff. Because before I know it, everything's going to be gone and everything. Yeah, it just all goes away. I don't have time to be worrying about, oh, I, I want to do this or that or whatever. And I get that planning your life isn't a bad thing. In fact, it's the opposite. It works better for some people than others. And for me, it's just, I don't really care because I would be fine with most things. So let's not get held up over that teeny fact and instead try working towards something that works and then go from there and just live. Because that's what I really want. I don't want to be like, trapped or pinned down into just existing i know like lots of people say that it's like well i got jobs and i like i got bills and stuff that i have to pay i don't just have the luxury of doing what i want i get that especially if you define the things of what you want to be such that it would be non-conducive to that if you set the things of what you want, like, oh, I want downtime, I don't want to work, you know, I just want to chill at home, but I can't because I have to pay bills. So it's like, of course, the way you defined what you wanted, it makes it so you can't be happy with working. I kind of want to work. I kind of want to do everything. So I can, in both senses have what makes me happy and have what I need to do to actually have a life. And it's not that I have to fall into this whole trap of existing. And I'm sorry, I'm really passionate right now. I don't even know where this come from. I guess I'm frustrated. And no offense to all you people, I, I love you all and you're beautiful and amazing. And of course, everybody's different and not everybody's going to fall into this thing that I'm talking about, but I'm saying, on the whole, I look at everybody and they dramatically or drastically have an underappreciation for life, and I get that there's a lot of crap in it, but that doesn't make it bad, it just adds things to it. And I'm not saying that I want pain or suffering or the bad things in life to exist, I'm just saying... It doesn't make it terrible. And you can still have good out of that. And there's still like a lot of stories about how terrible times also brings out a lot of the good in us. But besides that, it's not that it's separate. It's that it's everything and everything is amazing. This is what I'm all about is life. And it's beautiful and amazing to me. And I don't care. <laughs> I don't care what I have to do for a job or that I have bills or whatever. It's fine because it's all part of what I find amazing. Yes, it just kind of frustrates me that people just don't see that. They just like get trapped in their own little world in their own little box and it's like, oh, everything's terrible and blah, blah, blah. I, I can't get it, and I just want to be, look around you! <laughs> I mumbled. I mumbled and I put all my words together. Oh no, I, I make sound like an idealist, but I really not. I know how absolutely shitty life can get. I've had absolute crap happen to me, and I'm not saying that makes me special. I'm not, like... Some guy with rose-tinted glasses going, life is absolutely perfect and amazing. Life is really beautiful and amazing. And it's not when you close your eyes and deny what is wrong with the world that it becomes beautiful and amazing. It's 
It's everything to it. I just want to show people just how amazing the world is and how amazing all you are to me. And that's why I'm here. And that's why I want to do YouTube. And that's why I don't really want to stop. I wish this could be a platform where I could reach out to lots of people who might need me. But I don't mean that in a narcissistic way because I could give two shits about if people actually need me as what's more important is that they actually get what they need i don't want you guys to feel too bad especially if you mess up or you have a boo-boo or whatever or you're not as amazing in your own head as you'd like to be but to me you really are and you're really special I may not know a whole lot of you personally, so I might just sound like I'm talking out of my ass, but I don't need to. And you are really amazing to me, and I, I hope that you can see that, but I'm always going to try to do my best to share that with you. I don't need you to need me, but I would like you to be happy. And if I can help you be happy, I'm more than... Willing to do whatever it takes. Anyways, uh, my rant went on a little bit longer than I was expecting. So, I got done doing the whole analytics bit in the, like, New Year's resolution. But I'm thinking that I'm going to split this up into two episodes. Because I just went on a little too much. But I also think it's just better to have the two two different subjects into two different videos because they don't really colorate coal relate i'm not forgetting about the new year's resolution and why i started doing this little vlog i just did a me which is when i started to do it i got caught on a tangent and i went on a mile on that tangent usually i cut that out but i really like this tangent so i'm going to upload it but I hope you enjoyed this bit of the Dragon's Treasure. Pretend to like is a mic and drop it. If you haven't already, I would appreciate if you showed that sub button some love. And don't forget, sharing with your friends is caring. Stay beautiful!